<laughs> the One Man Hide and Seek, also known as the One Man Tag, is a ritual for contacting the dead. The spirits, which are wandering restless on the earth, are always looking for bodies to possess. In this ritual, you will summon such a spirit by offering it a doll instead of a human body. Warning! If you have psychic abilities, you may feel unwell or be prone to accidents during the ritual. Things you'll need. One stuffed doll. It must have limbs. Rice. Enough to stuff the doll full. One needle and one crimson thread. One pair of nail clippers. One sharp-edged tool, such as a knife, glass shard, or scissors. One cup of salt water. Natural salt would be best. A bathroom, with a bathtub and some form of counter. A hiding place, preferably a room purified by incense and ofuda. There must be a TV in there. Preparation. Take out whatever the doll is stuffed with. Once all of its stuffing is removed, restuff it with rice. Clip off a few pieces of your nails and put them inside the doll. Sew up the opening with the crimson thread. When you finish sewing, tie up the doll with the rest of the thread. Go to the bathroom and fill your bathtub with water. Return to your hiding place and put the cup of salt water on the ground. How to play. Give a name to your doll. The name can be any but your own. When the time is 3 a.m., say, your name is the first it, to the doll three times. Go to the bathroom and put the doll into the water-filled bathtub. Turn off all the lights in your house. Go back to the hiding place and switch on the TV. After counting to ten with your eyes closed, return to the bathroom with the edge tool in your hand. Go to the bathroom and say to the doll, I have found you, doll's name. Stab the doll with the edge of the tool. Say, you are the next it, the doll's name, as you take the doll out of the bathtub and leave it on the counter in the bathroom. As soon as you have put the doll down, run back to the hiding place and hide. How to finish. Pour half of the cup of salt water into your mouth. Do not drink it, just keep it there. Get out of your hiding place and start looking for the doll. The doll is not necessarily in the bathroom. Whatever happens, do not spit out the salt water. When you find the doll, pour the rest of the salt water in the cup over it. Then, spit out the salt water in your mouth onto it as well. Then you say, I win, I win, I win. This is supposed to end the ritual. After this, make sure you dry the doll, burn it, and discard it later. Most importantly, do not stop this ritual halfway through. You must do it through to the end. This is a dangerous ritual, and I will not be responsible for what happens to you if you try. Other things to keep in mind. Do not leave your house until you have done the finishing ritual. You must turn off every single light in your house when told to do so. You must keep quiet while hiding. You do not need to put the salt water in your mouth during the beginning. You only need to do it during the finishing ritual. Remember, if you are living with someone, you might put them in danger too. Keep the ritual under two hours, or else the spirit will be too strong to remove. For safety reasons, it might be best to keep all doors in the house unlocked, including your front door. Also, have friends close by so that they can come and help you at a moment's notice, if you ever need them.
keeping a phone close at hand would be a great idea, too. Notes The rice represents innards, and also has the role of attracting spirits. The crimson thread represents a blood vessel. It seals the spirits up inside the doll. By cutting the thread off, you break the seal and release the spirits you have trapped. If you go out of the hiding place without salt water, you may encounter something wandering around in your house, which may harm you in some way. The way to feel the presence of something wandering around is to watch what happens to the TV. Stay safe.